Today is the 28th of February. Today's Friday, and today's the last kind of Friday of Black History Month. So I want to send a critical message to the black community regarding Black History Month and, and about us making history. I want to talk about the Democratic Party. I want to talk about the Democratic Party, you guys. Um, well, I'll first say this, is that I'm not... By me coming against the Democratic Party, you're automatically going to say, what, what about the Republican Party? Let's just hold off for that for one second, okay? Now, the Democratic Party, historically, is the party that funded the KKK. They are the party that f worked against the Civil Rights Movement. And it was the Republican Party that actually si signed the Civil Rights Act and, and, and got rid of that type of racism in the South. That's why those states are red. The Democratic Party have a history of being racist. That's my point of bringing up their history. They have history, they are the party. Not only are they the party of the KKK and anti-civil rights, and they became, right when they realized it wasn't profitable anymore, they began to use a different tactic, okay? And it's the tactic of Margaret Sanger. Margaret Sanger said that we must persuade, I'm not quoting her, but pretty much she said we must persuade the black pastors, the black leaders to help push abortion, to help push our agenda because because uh, they are the key to the people pretty much. So they hired black people to be the voice to kind of open the door for Planned Parenthood in our communities. Democratic Party is the party of abortion. They are the party of black genocide people. They are the party that protects, that funds, that celebrates, that wars against um, anything that's for life, anything that's anti-abortion. They are relentless on believing that killing baby, killing a baby is a woman's right to do. Just because we have a black president with the Democratic Party, we can't, as Christians, just fall asleep. The Democratic Party is a party of the gay marriage, is, is the party of, of the gay movement. And as Christians, what are we doing still backing up black Christians? This president, or any Democratic person, who who is doing, who is supporting that openly. We all need to, you know, kind of awaken to this. And when I grew up, you know, all I knew about politics is that Republicans were racist or something like that, and Democrats like black people. Well, the truth is, that's not really, that's not really true. I know a lot of Republicans and all that, I'm not saying pe people aren't racist, but I'll tell you this, living in Minnesota, my parents will always say this, is that we'd rather be in the South where racism can be open. A white person likes you or he doesn't like you. But in Minnesota, one of the most liberal places, right? Racism is hidden, it's undertone. So don't fall for the lie that, oh, the Republicans are all racist and they don't like black people. That's perpetuated by the Democratic Party to keep you from actually understanding what their platform is. Now, I'm not sitting here endorsing everything in the Republican Party, but at very least, they're not the party of, hey, let's continue to kill babies. We cannot be foolish and um, continue to back up the Democratic Party. We just can't. We can't continue to ignore and go, Chris, well, there's more issues than just abortion. Well, beloved, is there a bigger issue than black genocide? I'm trying to tell you, we do 30% of the abortions and we're 12, 15% of the nation. I'm trying to tell you that 52% of black pregnancies end in abortion. I'm trying to tell you that this was all planned. And I'm trying to tell you that it's the Democratic Party who loves it. And we're being hypocrites, you guys. If we're going to get mad about a white person shooting a black kid, okay, and getting away with it, which is an injustice, I believe, still, how can, if we're going to get mad at that, but we ignore the, the, the consistent murder uh, of babies in the womb? What type of twisted stuff is that? If you're gonna get mad about the kid getting shot, why not get, are you not gonna get mad about the kid being ripped apart in shreds? I just wanna call the black community this February, okay, out of the Democratic Party. I'm not telling you to be a Republican. I'm not telling, be a libertarian. Be something else, start another party. But you gotta at least leave the party that's openly racist, that's openly has an agenda against the black community, that openly doesn't care about the death of children, and, and if you're Christian, wants to continue um, supporting the gay movement. You have to leave that party. We can't ignore, we can't back up the president, you guys. Now, I love him, we should pray for him. Hear me, we need to pray for the president. But we're, 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 we, you guys, he celebrates abortion. I mean, he 
wants that to continue. He is helping the gay agenda move forward and strives. And you're saying, and you're trying to, you're trying to pretend like you're just so like, like you found some formula. Like, oh, there's other issues. What other issues, beloved? Please tell me what are other issues more fundamental than human beings having the right to live. So, black people, let's not just follow Obama off the cliff. Let's not just believe everything he says, or not, and not just fall just because he's black, guys. We need to challenge this and love. And if the black church doesn't separate themselves from that i mean what you guys would we, we'll just accept anybody and that's what they're counting on they're counting on us just to accept him because he says a couple of nice things about the black community he acts like he cares and that but yet ignores genocide that's going on chris rush mayor whoville it's time you guys black community it's time for us to leave the democratic party it's, the, it's not okay you guys these guys are Pretty much, like, not everybody right off. I mean, maybe not everybody, but the leadership, they're monsters. You guys, they are literal monsters. And, I, and Republicans have their issues. And I can make another video about that. But at the very least, leave the party that's, like, openly, openly corrupted.